Hey everyone and good morning. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to bypass your iCloud locked iOS 13.5.1 iPhone using your Windows PC. In this tutorial, I'm going to show the untethered version, which is for the app passcode lock or disabled devices. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start. So the first is that you need to download and prepare these files. You have here a guide, which I will also upload. And first one is Rain USB, Balena Etcher, Transmac, and the latest bypass tools, which includes the iPass code and bypass tool from FRP. You're also going to need a 16 gigabytes flash disk. Once you have these files ready, we can now start flashing the Rain USB image into our flash disk using the Balena Etcher tool. So let me show that to you. So first thing is we're gonna select and find the Rain USB image. We're going to look for the file we downloaded, Rain USB Intel upgrade. Next is we're gonna need to select the target. So click change and select the correct flash disk. And now we're ready to flash. So I'm gonna skip that part because I've already done that. So the second step would now be to use the Transmac tool to transfer the CheckRain app and the Mina USB app into the applications folder of our flashed Rain USB. So I am not going to show that anymore because I've demonstrated that, but let me replay that clip. So you're gonna go open Transmac, select Multi-Flash Reader, and then expand that volume and then find the Applications folder. You can see there that there are already apps inside that folder, but we're gonna add the CheckRain 10.1 and the Mina USB app. So to do that, open the zip file Mina USB tool, unzip it and drag the folders in your desktop. Next, we're going back to Transmac. And on the right pane of the window, you're going to hover the mouse and right click and then select copy here. And then select that file that we are trying to flash. And then find those files that we are trying to copy. And I'm showing that to you now. So it's already copying. So we're going to have to do that step for both Mina USB and the CheckRain 0.10.1.app folder. So there you go. I have both files in there. Now we're ready. So that's it. We're done in step two. Now we're going to shut down our PC so that we can start booting Rain USB from our. So as you can see here, I am now on my BIOS setup. So for Rain USB to work, we need to make some configurations on the PC or on the BIOS. So first thing that we need to configure is the CPU settings. So take note that for the CPU, we need to enable image virtualization. Next is we need to enable UEFI boot. So as you can see here, you can either use both UEFI and legacy, but if that doesn't work, you need to put select UEFI only. Okay, so next thing is we're gonna need to disable our secure boot control. So for my settings, it's already disabled, so I don't need to make any changes. Now let's go ahead and save the changes and reboot and boot up from Rain USB. Now we're on the screen, we're gonna hit F9 again. Okay, we're on the multi-flash. We have these options and we're going to select multi-flash reader. Now we're under Clover Configurator, we just need to make sure that we boot up from Rain USB. And there you have it guys, it's already booting up. This may take a couple of minutes, so I'm gonna fast forward for this tutorial. Okay, and here we go, we have already successfully booted up Terrain USB. So now we're going to proceed and jailbreak the device. So in order to run Chakrain from Rain USB, we have to open the terminal. And we're going to type this command. That would be cd space forward slash applications forward slash 0.10.1.app forward slash contents forward slash Mac OS. Hit enter. And then the next command would be to type in 
Beeriad, Forward Smash, Check Rain. So once we have Check Rain ready, we're gonna have to jailbreak the device now. We are going to place it manually on recovery mode because it's disabled, it will not be detected by Check Rain. So we're doing that now. And then once we're on recovery, we're ready to start. Before we actually do that, we're going to make sure that we're ready to hold the power and the volume down button to enter DFU. So once ready, we're going to click start. Just like that. We're holding the power button and the volume down until we successfully enter DFU. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and we're on DFU. So at this point, we're just going to have to allow Chuck Rain to do its thing in the background. So it says booting up. And we are done. So now we're going to proceed. But if you get Chuck Rain error 20 because you're not able to proceed, you're going to have to run Mina USB. So in order to do that, let me demonstrate that. So from your terminal, you're going to type in this commands. So you're going to type in cd space application, sorry, forward slash applications, forward slash Mina USB dot app, forward slash contents, forward slash Mac OS, and hit enter. And once we do that, the next command would be to type in dot forward slash Mina USB and hit enter. And there you go. You can see here that we have the Mina USB patcher. So what we're going to do is to patch it with Mina USB if ever you cannot proceed and get the check crane error negative 20. I'm not going to do that anymore because I've already done that. For more or detailed video tutorial on how to use the Mina USB patcher, please watch the video in the description link below and in the banner above. Now we are ready to head back to our windows to extract the cellular activation files using our Windows Bypass tools. And now we're on our Windows desktop and we have here our iPass code version 4.1.4 and this is what we're going to use. So open the folder and then launch the tool iPass code version 1.4 Pro. Make sure your device is also connected. In here you can see three options we have the backup activation files which is actually what we're going to do to extract the cellular activation and then the next two options would be done later so let's do that and back up the activation files okay we're done so to double check go to the magic files folder so that you can see if it has successfully extracted the activation so there you go we can see that we have successfully downloaded or extracted the cellular activation files so we're done with this step now we can restore the device back to its fresh firmware so now we're going to flash it using 3u tools so the device is not detecting so i think we have to force it into recovery so we're going to do the same steps so it's still turning off we have to wait for it to fully shut down and now we're fully shut down, so let's prepare to put it in recovery. So I'm just holding the power and the volume down until we see the recovery screen. There you go. So now we are on a recovery mode. And you can see here on my 3U tools that phone is ready to be flashed. So I'm just going to search for the IPSW, which we downloaded from the IPSW.me website. And the latest that is sound by Apple is the 13.5.1 firmware. So now I am starting the flash. So this will take a couple of minutes. So I'm just going to fast forward for this video tutorial. Alright, so after we're done flashing, we're going 
to jailbreak again the device using rain usb so what we did in step one and two we're just gonna have to repeat that over again so let me show you that Okay, and here we go, we have already successfully booted up Terrain USB. So now we're going to proceed and jailbreak the device that we have freshly restored via 3U tools. So in order to run Chuck Rain from Rain USB, we have to open the terminal. And we're going to type this command. That would be cd space forward slash applications forward slash 0.10.1 one dot app forward slash contents forward slash mac os hit enter and then the next command would be to type in period forward slash check rain and there you go guys we have check rain opened so now we're going to connect our freshly restored device and get it jailbroken So as you can see here, this device is still currently locked, just to show you that it has an Apple ID attached to it. There you go, you can see that it has an Apple ID, and Chakrain has detected the device, but it says that it doesn't support 13.5.1. So what we're going to do is to put this manually on recovery mode, and to do that we're going to have to press the power button, turn it off, wait a few seconds, okay, and now we're going to hold the power and the volume down all together until we see the rec there you go we're already on recovery mode so now we can go ahead and proceed with the jailbreak so you see guys there is also an options here normally I wouldn't touch or edit or alter this unless I get problems so for now let's leave it as it is and then let's hit start and in the screen we have to be ready to put the device on DFU mode so I'm holding down I'm ready to press the down and the power button together and then we can hit start. So now let's do that. Holding, two, one, and then releasing the power button while I am still holding the volume down until we get into DFU and there you go, we're on DFU mode. So now we can release and then let it do its thing. There you go, it says it's... So there you go guys. We've successfully jailbroken this and now we're ready to go ahead and move over back to our windows so that we can do the bypass so I'm gonna pause this video and let's head over to our Windows PC we are on our Windows PC and we can see here that we have the iPass code tool this is what we're going to use, which is what we also used earlier to get the activation files. And just to double check, we have the activation files in here. And then over the side, we have our iPhone, which is still currently under activation, but we've already jailbroken this using Rain USB. So now we're going to open the iPasco I tool version 1.4. Hit this. Now it's opening, guys. So let's just show first that this is still under activation before we activate the device. There you go. As you can see, it is still the, under the activation setup. So now let's start the bypass using iPass Code Tool version 1.4. So let's just set this aside. And we have here these three options. So this is, we've done the first step already. So now we're going to activate the iDevice. I'm pressing it now. And let's just wait for a couple of seconds for it to do its thing in the background.
So let's just give it a few seconds, guys. You see the screen taper here? There you go. It, should, it says your device should be activated. Please restart device plus the cellular data fix. So let's try and see what happened to our iPhone. Okay, it's not yet activated, so it may take a couple of tries. It says to restart the device, so let's just do that instead. So let's turn it off. And let's power it back on. And there you go guys we can see that we've passed the activation setup and look at our our signal here it's already activated so let's set up this security settings later passcode don't use app don't use passcode don't transfer set up later set up later don't use don't use so don't use iTunes is also opening just disregard that we've just activated our device so natural for iTunes to launch so we're just gonna have to close that out install manually not now set up later don't share don't share continue 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 get started and bam there we go guys we are now currently on the main menu of the iPhone device and as you can see here we have got full signal and we are on iPhone 7 that is currently under let's just cover this part that is currently under 13.5.1 let's have a closer look there you go it's under 13.5.1 and you've got a signal over here there you go as you can see so we've got a carrier signal guys so let's try to make a call I'm not sure if this would work because this is a data sim but let's try dialing to 1 1 okay it's call failed let's try and use another sim card So I could not make a call for the SIM card because this is just a data SIM. So let's try to use a regular SIM card that, that can actually make call. So the SIM card is locked with a pin. Just have to open it. Now it's searching signal as you can see over the top. There you go, it's searching signal. It's also from the same carrier. So I'm going to make a call. Call Patrick. Yes. Thanks for calling Bob. The rest of the government data is on an active card team. Because we have a limited number of agents, we're available from 9 a.m. So there you go, guys. We've successfully bypassed it and calls are actually working. So let's stop that. So that's really wonderful. We've bypassed it, guys, and it's fully untethered. And let me just restart it just to show that it is really untethered. Turn it off. Put it back on. So there you go guys, we put it right into the screen. So sometimes based on the videos that I've seen, you need to have the SIM card uh, pin enabled for this to go straight into an untethered boot. Otherwise you're going to be going back to the iCloud activation setup if you disable the SIM pin. But sometimes it works, so you just have to figure it out and do some kind of trial and errors. So I hope that helps, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and see you on the next video.